Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and in today's video I'm going to walk you through the process of updating the DSM software on a Synology NAS. Alright guys, so I'm signed into my Synology NAS and this is model DS216 plus 2. And you can see there are a couple of available updates for installed packages and then there's also one notification here on the control panel. So let's click on that. And you can see under update and restore, there is an update available for the DSM, the disk station management software. So DSM 6.1.4 is available for download. Let's take a look at what's new. So here are the release notes for DS216 plus 2. And you can see that version 6.1.4-15217 was released yesterday on November 6, 2017. Now it says a couple of important notes. This update is expected to be available for all regions within the next few days, although the time of the release in each region may slightly vary, and this update will restart your NAS. Let's take a look at what's new in version 6.1.4. So it says here they adjusted the threshold of remaining storage capacity warning to 10%. Support for 12 terabyte Iron Wolf and Iron Wolf Pro drives with IHM has been added. And users with access control list permissions set as administration can edit shared folders in the file station. If you look a little further down, you can see there are several issues that were addressed and fixed. The first one says enhance the compatibility of USB on certain models. So I'm kind of hoping um, this resolves an issue that I'm having with one of my external USB drives. And I'm not going to read them all to you, but just quickly scanning down um, at the bottom here, there were several security vulnerabilities that were also addressed. So I'll put the link to this page down in the video description below. Let's get to the actual software update. So let's switch over to the NAS, come back into the control panel, and let's click on the download link. Okay, the download's completed. Let's run the update now. And the message says, please do not shut down or power off the system during the update. Do you want to continue? So we will say yes. Updating DSM on your disk station. This will take about 10 minutes. Please wait. Okay, guys, so I'll let this run and I will be back as soon as the program is updated. So we're back at the sign in screen. The NAS restarted. The installation is complete. It took about 8 minutes and 46 seconds, give or take. So let's get signed into the NAS and check out the update. Okay, let's sign back into the control panel. Let's go into update and restore. And we can see here now that the current DSM version is 6.1.4-15217. And it's telling us now that our DSM version is up to date. So that about wraps it up for today, guys. If you liked this video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, please like, and please share. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.